Alright guys, so I am finally getting into FPV. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time now, so I am pretty excited about it. So for those of you who don't know what FPV is, it's first person view flying. So basically you have a camera on your RC model that does a live video feed via a video transmitter to the ground that's picked up by a video receiver and does live video output to a monitor on the ground. And you watch this monitor and you fly your plane as if you're in the like the cockpit of your RC model. I'm going to be using this screen, it's just a 7 inch LCD screen. And I'm going to be comparing these two systems. This is a 900 megahertz system from uh, BEVRC and this is a 5.8 gigahertz system from Foxtech Hobby. Both these systems will be using this FH18C camera from Foxtech Hobby and it has 520 lines of resolution so that's pretty good. So I'm using these two systems because I want to start out by with using my DX7 and the DX7 radio transmits on 2.4 gigahertz frequency so you do not want to have a video system that transmits on that same frequency because there will be lots of interference. So if you want to fly with your uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio, you need to either have a 900 megahertz system like this, a 1.2 gigahertz system, or a 5.8 gigahertz system. This is the first one I have. This is, like I said, 900 megahertz, and this is an 800 milliwatt uh, video transmitter. I've got a couple antennas I want to compare. These are two DBI antennas that came stock. This is a three DBI antenna that I want to try on the receiver. And this is a half wave dipole DBI, 2 DBI antenna, and I'm going to put that on the uh, transmitter. This is the second system from Fox Tech Hobby. It's a 5.8 gigahertz system. This is a 200 milliwatt transmitter, and here's the receiver. Uh, here are the stock antennas. This is a 3 DBI antenna and a 2 DBI antenna. And then additionally, I have purchased this 5 dBi antenna and 6 dBi antenna. So I'm going to experiment with all these different antennas in these two systems and see what works out best with me. And I will show you guys how I'm going to do that. So here's my experiment setup. I am a little bit limited here living in a city. And this weekend, Chicago is extremely busy with concerts and Chicago Air and Water Show. So there are no parks open. I have to drive like 20 miles away. So it's just. It's kind of a bad situation, but I really want to get going with this FPV system, so here's what I got going on. I've got the video transmitter on here, and my RC setup, and the, the camera is right there. And so this is going to be transmitting to this, and to this monitor, and on here you can see the tail moving on the plane. So basically, I'm going to start walking down this street right here, see how far I can get. While, I st while still maintaining video and RC control. I know there's going to be a lot of interference because I'm in the city, but I want to get going with this. This is the best I've got, and I figure it's going to add a lot of in interference, so it might work out for the best. Okay, so my building is way down there right now. Way down there. It's that sliver of a brown building. And here's what I've got going on right now. Here's my video link awesome and I've got radio control still so this is using the 5 dbi receiver antenna and the 3 dbi transmitter antenna so I'm really happy with this this is the system that I think would work best I'm really happy with where we're at right now um, a little bit past where I'm at gets more interference so I'm gonna quickly try out the other combinations of the 5.8 gigahertz system and the 900 megahertz system and see if anything's better so I'm using the highest gain 900 megahertz antennas I've got and the video is just really sketchy. I haven't made it that far. My building's just right there. I'm barely a block and a half away. Um, yeah, it's just really temperamental. I do still have RC control, which is what I was really worried about. I mean, now I've got no signal. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's been pretty clear that the 5.8 gigahertz system is the best. Alright, so that concludes my testing. I ran through all the different transmitters and receivers with all the different antennas, and this was the clear winner. This is the 5.8 gigahertz system from Foxtech um, FPV. BEV RC sells the exact same set. Um, and I put the 3 dBi antenna on the transmitter and the 5 dBi antenna on the receiver and this gave me the furthest range and with the best uh, video quality so this is what I'm going to be flying with. Thanks for watching.